this could be a highly charged event. They were just uh, under a second faster than Australia with uh, Canada next quickest, but you wouldn't write off uh, three or four other of the teams in that field. Nigeria, Uganda, England, Australia, Botswana, of course, anchored by the individual 400-metre gold medalist, Amandel Monchot. Imagine if Sally was defending six or seven metres against her on the last leg. Then India, Scotland and Canada. Yes, if Monchot's um, coming behind Sally, she'll have to really step it up. But I actually think Nigeria is the favourite favor uh, in this, Tim, because yesterday they dropped the baton um, and they were looking really good up to that stage. So I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if they come down that straight as number one. So follow Shade Abagan to run the first leg for Nigeria. Margaret Etten, 17-year-old, to run the second leg. Uganda, probably the outsider in the field. They were the slowest through the round of heats. That's Justine Bayiga who's going to run the first leg for the Ugandans. England's lineup: Kelly Massey, Victoria Barb, Megan Beasley, and Nadine Okier. The English team has started well tonight with gold medals in both of the sprint relays, but not quite as dominant on paper, at least in this. Here's the Australian lineup: Jody Henry to run the first leg. Yes, we've got a wonderful crowd here tonight, and you could just imagine with the Indian team how much cheering there is and. And that's the thing with the girls, they just can't panic. They've got to make sure that they just run their own race and just make sure that they get that baton. And when you see them take off, there'll be a massive stagger. And Jodie will have to make sure over that last 50 metres that she really kicks on through to pass it on. Well, there's the reception for the Indian team as it's introduced to the crowd here. Manji Kaur, the first leg. Sini Josie, the second. Ashwini Akunji, the third leg. And Manji Kaur will anchor the Indian team. Scotland, Gemma Nicholl, Ailey Child, Catherine Evans and Lee McConnell who surely will be running her last Commonwealth Games race. Be nice to see her running for a medal on the last leg. And that's exactly who Jodie Henry will need to chase is Lee McConnell. There's Sally. She's probably thinking, what was I thinking at this stage? But I'm sure she's going to do a great job for the Australian team tonight. 400 metre individual gold medal is sitting, watching. She's got a little while to wait. Each leg is a lap of the track. They run the first full lap and then the first bend of the second leg in their lanes. So the stagger is quite exaggerated. Significantly beyond how it is for the individual 400 metre event. Sally waits. Crowd quietens as we await the starters gun second last event in track and field at the 19th commonwealth games and away they go canada the outside scotland second from the outside then india botswana jody henry making ground on the botswanian first leg runner then it's back to england nigeria making good progress getting past uganda over on the inside as they move into the second half of the first leg. Just remember the stagger continues for another bend. Jodie Henry looking to push Australia right into this. Yes, Jodie really needs to kick here because she really needs to set, set up this race for the Australians because as we said, Sally is on the last leg, which is going to be a very tough gig for her. But here we're going to go into the second change with Pyrenees Steinhardt. And India might have made the change first, although Nigeria Change very quickly and the Nigerians get to the front. As they're about to come out of their lanes, it will be Nigeria, India, England, Steinert with the baton for Australia up in fourth position, followed by England and Scotland. And there, India is just on fire here. They're just going to really try and make an impact coming around here. And Steinhardt is a very experienced 4 by 4 runner in our Australian team and she really needs to pick it up because as you can see that she's getting swamped a little bit now and hopefully over this last 100 metres, but it is an incredible race. And as I said, Nigeria is going to be one of the tough ones to beat. And at the 
they stage their way ahead. 17-year-old Margaret Etkin. Hands over the baton. Casual change. Nigeria lead India. Then it's England. And now Olivia Toro has it for Australia in fourth position. So Australia certainly in medal contention, but Nigeria with a handsome lead in the back straight for the third time. Yes, Nigeria looks like they have this really wrapped up at the moment. And as you can see, Olivia is in fourth position. She hasn't had a lot of experience at this level, actually only in the heat uh, previously uh, yesterday. And now she'll really need to start kicking home if we're in with any chance whatsoever of a medal. Gap closing, a bogan loco of Nigeria struggling. And India might get to the last change in front. Look at Olivia Toro for Australia. It's an excellent run by Olivia. She's just pumping those arms. She knows she's got to get it to Sally, and Sally has to just make sure she doesn't panic. India, she has to realise. India changing in front. India, Nigeria, and Sally Pearson with the baton for Australia. Surely she couldn't win from there. India and Nigeria shooting it out in front. India without a track gold medal since the flying seat Milka Singh in Cardiff more than 50 years ago. And Uta, Uta Musso was actually the 400 metre gold medalist in the hurdle, so she's got a challenge there. Mandy Power running for India, and with the crowd providing the wind beneath her wings. And look Mandy at Sally Power. Pearson. Pearson look at Sally gets Pearson. into third. Trying to kick. This is an experience she's never had before. India's the story. In front, India on the track to win its first gold medal in 52 years. Oh. India, Nigeria, England, the bronze. And the crowd goes berserk and so they should. What a wonderful experience and being a part of it. I honestly thought Nigeria was the team to beat. And there, there they were going against the 400 metre hurdle gold medalist. It's as though the city of Delhi knew that this was on tonight because they've come in and virtually filled the stadium. And it's a school night, Tim, and it they're is, still here. It is history 